Okay, so what we're gonna do today is we are gonna teach how to assemble the rubber dam, place the rubber dam on the type, uh, teeth or type it on. So um, in Ohio, dental assistants cannot place the rubber dam on the tooth. However, you do wanna be able to get it already all set up for the dentist. And then also we wanna understand the concept of it being placed on the tooth and how to set it up. So we do practice actually placing it on the tooth. So what you need for your armamentarium are your rubber dam here, your actual dental dam, which is this. We use non-latex, our whole office is um, non-latex. These do come in latex, of course. Here, these are our rubber dam puncher. So this is what actually puts the hole into the rubber dam for our clamp. We have our actual clamp here. This is what goes around the tooth and hugs the tooth. We have our forceps here. These are what we use to go on the clamp to place it in the mouth on the tooth. We have our frame here. This is what holds the rubber dam and gives it structure so that it's not just kind of flopping around outside the patient's mouth. This is gonna actually support it. So, the first step that we want to do is determine what tooth is being treated and punch our hole. So, we want a brand new rubber dam here. And what you can use as you're learning, this is like a little template here. So this is basically just the mouth. It's just broken up into quadrants and it has all the little dots on there. So once you guys get used to this, visualizing this, you will not need this as a template. But if you feel like you do, it's basically picturing this here. You can kind of see through it. So we're gonna, we would start here for number one through eight, nine through 16, 17 to 24, 25 to 32, okay? So we are gonna practice today tooth number 30. So if needed, as you're learning, you can kind of practice. What you wanna visualize, I have another one here. I'm not gonna make all the dots and lines, but I did on this one as like a little guide. So if we were doing number 30, we would be somewhere around in like this area here, okay? So as we come around, we're gonna be somewhere around here. So I'm gonna use my blank template here and I'm gonna go right about there for my number 30. Once I have my dot marked, like I said, once you guys get experience with this, you're not even gonna to need to make a dot. You're gonna take your rubber dam puncher here we actually have it on, um, there's different, there's this little wheel that has different uh, circles, settings. You can see how the circles, smaller, bigger, bigger, they get bigger as you go. So you can turn that wheel. You can hear it clicking to determine your size that you wanna do. Right now we have it on the biggest size. If you're working on a child, you're probably gonna pick a smaller size, but number 30, it's a, it's a molar, it's larger, so we're gonna just gonna do the big size. So what you wanna do, you see that little arrow that's kind of peeking down there? That's what you wanna be able to see. So we're gonna find our dot on here. I'm gonna slide this in, and you can see my little arrow is pointing right down it's where that dot is. Now, you do have to squeeze it kind of hard until you hear a click and then release, okay? Now, you're gonna see your dot is punched, but you have to peel away that little dot. Okay, so I just peeled it away and now I have a hole. So this is what is gonna go around the tooth, okay? So now, Forgot to get the floss out. You always want to make sure you have floss. 
So what the floss is for, we have to put this around our clamp. So you can picture this, it's not very big. If this were to fly off of the tooth and go back to the patient's throat, they could risk choking on it. If we have a piece of floss tied around this clamp, then we're able to pull the floss. If this goes towards the throat and this is hanging out of the mouth, pull the floss, the clamp will come with it, okay? So what I do, instead of tying like a traditional knot, I put my floss, I fold it in half, and take my little loop, I thread it through here, and then I pull my little tails, hopefully you guys can see this, pull my little tails through here so you can see it's this kind of knot. Okay. I'll turn my light down a little bit. Maybe this will help. All right. So that's what is going to be coming out of the mouth in case this were to fly off. So the next thing we want to do, we want to make sure this is oriented properly as we go to place our clamp on. Okay. So this is the hole here. So what you're going to do is you're going to put this hole around your clamp. So if you guys can see, hopefully, I'm going to put it around my little wings here like this. I'm going to hold it with this hand. I'm going to stretch that hole. Maybe. I'll show you guys once it's once it's on here. Okay, there we go. So it's gonna look like this. So you just put the rubber dam around those little kind of wings that are sticking out on each side. You always want this portion here, this little band, this little clamp, towards the throat. So if you're on top, if you're working on a maxillary molar, it's going to look like this, okay, maxillary. If you're working on mandibular, it's going to look like this and go in the mouth. This is always going to be on the distal. If it's towards the mesial, it's going to be in the way when the dentist is drilling. Okay? So, now that we have this assembled, we need to put our frame on to, to get some structure so this isn't flying around. So, I'm going to go ahead and put the frame on. This is a, one of the difficult parts when you're learning. So, what you want to do, what I do, is I try to start with a corner here. Once I put it around a corner, I hold it. Then I wrap it around another corner here, okay? So I have two corners now. Now I need to get it around that third corner. I'm going to pull and stretch. You do not want to pierce it through. If you pierce it through your dam, you're risking creating a large hole and it will slit all across the whole dam, okay? I'm just working my way around. Kind of the slower and more gentle you are, the better. Now look, see how my floss is underneath the dam? I'm gonna pull it through before I secure that last one. Gently. It's all about being gentle with this, okay? Here. I'm gonna pull it here to stretch it more. Now you can go back and revise, get that stretch you need. Okay. Now, one thing I didn't go over is the frame. See how this frame kind of has a bend outwards. It's coming out like that. That is the chin rest. You always want it going at the bottom, whether you're working on maxillary or mandibular, and you want it as a bump. Think of the chin, a bump. That's going to go on like this in the mouth, okay? So, Looks like our frame is pretty secure here. 
I am a little bit close to my frame where I punched my hole. I could have came in just a smidge more, but this will be fine. All right, so now we are ready to place this in the mouth on the tooth. So what we're gonna use, we're gonna use our forceps here. So these are kind of different. Um, the way this works is when you squeeze, you lower it and it locks together, okay? So see how this is locked now? That's gonna keep those open. If I squeeze and raise that up and release, then you can see here, it's back to normal. So what you wanna do You're going to line these up. You see those little kind of notches there, those little expenditures? That's what's going to go in the holes here. So what you're going to do is you're going to place those in the holes. Once it's in the holes, you're going to squeeze. See how that got larger? And lock. Now this is how you would pass it to the dentist. It's ready. It's ready to go on the tooth, okay? Now, we're going to place it on the tooth. So what we're going to do, okay, so we're going to place that on number 30, which is this tooth right here. So as you can see, we're going to here, go here. We're going to rock it from buckle to lingual and release. Now you have to raise up your little locks here or else it won't release. Okay. There we go. So we have our floss coming out and we have it entered on here. So just so you guys can visualize, this rubber dam, what this is doing, it is isolating the entire mouth. So we are focusing just on this tooth. It's gonna keep debris, moisture, everything out. Okay, so if you can picture, this is on in, in the mouth here. This is our other half of our mouth. It's gonna look like this. Let me show you guys. Okay, it's gonna look like this. So this is how the dentist is gonna be drilling on the tooth. The assistant is gonna be suctioning right over that tooth, okay? So what you wanna do, see how that is a little bit bunched up there? Sometimes they will use some floss to be able to secure there. So you can use a piece of floss. The dentist may use this to floss that mesial portion. And that's just gonna help get that dam down a little bit further so the dentist has full view of that tooth, okay? So that is your basic concept of assembling the rubber dam, placing it in the mouth. You guys will just be assembling it. So the biggest thing is you want it in the right location, right? If we're working on 30, you want it near 30. If we're working on 18, you're gonna be here. This side over here is gonna be more of your upper left quadrant, so um, nine through 16. And then over here, you're going to be more in your one to eight. Okay. So to disassemble, this is the easy part, right? The disassembling is always the easy part. Put those right back in there. Squeeze. Have to pull a little bit. Remember we floss that down. Sometimes once you get that clamp released, You'll just pull it off, okay? Just like that. 